the fifth stage of the 2024 Formula One World Championship, will mark the return of the sport to China after a gap of five years since the last edition at the 5.451-kilometer Shanghai International Circuit. This situation was also due to the fact that the restrictions imposed by the Chinese government in the wake of the COVID-19 pandemic lasted much longer than in other countries. A half-decade in the top tier of motorsport can be compared to a geological era, and there is no better way to demonstrate it than through numbers. Five seasons ago in the spring, Lewis Hamilton was chasing his sixth Formula One World Championship, while four-time F1 World Champion Sebastian Vettel began to feel the pressure from a young Monegasque kid who had grown up in the Ferrari Driver Academy and inherited Kimi Raikkonen's seat. That young man named Charles Leclerc had shown flashes of crystal-clear talent already in the 2018 Formula One campaign, which was his debut season, precisely with the Alfa Romeo team led by Frederick Vasseur, the current Ferrari team boss. Historical Cycles Today, the statistics from the 2019 Chinese Grand Prix almost make you smile, especially regarding the tally of victories. The cannibal Max Verstappen, who at that moment was in his fifth season in Formula One, boasted five race victories in his personal record of achievements, the same as Valtteri Bottas, two fewer than Daniel Ricciardo, who now struggles to keep up with Yuki Tsunoda at racing bulls. Against the technological supremacy of the Mercedes team, especially in the field of power units, not even the great genius of Adrian Newey could do much, frustrated by the inconsistency of the Renault engines and the slow progress of Honda, which began supplying engines to the Milton Keynes squad precisely in the 2019 Formula One season. Despite the evident frustration, the Dutchman and Red Bull continued their partnership, mutually believing they could reach Mercedes's performance level and be the ones to put an end to the dominance of the Silver Arrows. The perseverance of both parties, combined with the exponential growth of the Japanese power unit, allowed the Dutch driver to clinch the Formula One world title in 2021, before the introduction of the new technical regulations with the return of ground effect cars. The path to success was fraught with very challenging moments for the Max Verstappen Red Bull partnership during those years. However, mutual trust never wavered, a kind of lesson learned from which Charles Leclerc must take note. The Monegasque driver is in his seventh season in Formula One, the sixth with Scuderia Ferrari. Throughout his experience with the Italian team, he has had few opportunities to fight for victory. And on several occasions, when success seemed within reach, fate in the form of technical issues or questionable strategy decisions from the Maranello pit wall deprived him of many more race wins than he has achieved in his career up to date. But now is not the time to give up. Ironically, the Formula One season that was supposed to elevate him to the absolute reference point of the Maranello team, taking into consideration Carlos Sainz's impending departure from Ferrari at the end of the racing campaign, is unfortunately proving more challenging than expected. This is likely the most crucial juncture of Charles Leclerc's Formula One career, as he will soon compete in quick succession with a free-thinking driver forced to showcase his abilities to earn a place on the grid for 2025, while next year, the Monegasque driver will have to contend with the most successful driver of all time, Lewis Hamilton. These challenges will be won more with the mind than with the right foot. A sign came during last Sunday's Grand Prix in Japan. After yet another rather disappointing performance in the qualifying session, Charles Leclerc chose to follow his instinct, executing an outstanding initial stint that allowed him to catch up to his Ferrari teammate, who, in fact, started two rows ahead on the starting grid of the Suzuka race. Charles Leclerc must not succumb to the frenzy of achieving results beyond the capabilities of the available machinery, and must be patient much like Max Verstappen was when his Red Bull was not performing as in the last three years of Formula One. The indefinite renewal with the prancing horse is proof of the mutual love or absolute trust between Charles Leclerc and the Marinello team. Amidst all this, a question arises. Does the Ferrari driver succumb to the allure of the historic Italian team to the extent that it affects his political influence within the team? Are we sure that Xavi Marcos is the ideal guardian angel to maximize Charles Leclerc's performance? Lewis Hamilton and Max Verstappen owe much of their success to their respective race engineers. Even today, there are several mismatches slash misunderstandings between the Monegasque and the pit wall heard over the team radio messages. Is this acceptable after so many years of collaboration? It seems that Charles Leclerc lacks the protective circle that has shielded and nurtured Max Verstappen's growth. 
Sometimes success does not solely depend on pure speed and a good car. All we can do as Ferrari fans is hope that in five years the numbers will vindicate Charles Leclerc and the historic Marinello team.